Unit 9. Why do we lie? Read about it. When we were kids, we were taught the virtue of honesty through stories like The Adventures of Pinocchio and The Boy Who Cried Wolf. In The Boy Who Cried Wolf, whatever the boy had once possessed was lost in the end, including all his sheep and the trust of his fellow villagers. From this story, we understand that honesty is the best policy. But many of us still lie for many reasons. We sometimes lie in order to cover up our mistakes. For example, some students might tell their teachers that they left their homework at home when in fact they haven't even done it. These students don't want to seem irresponsible, so they make up an excuse, that is, a lie, to save face. Another reason we lie. Is to escape from situations that we don't want to be involved in or cannot manage. Imagine a marketing manager would rather relax at home on the weekend than go camping with his family. He might give this excuse I have stayed up late recently to finish a major project, so I need to get some rest. This type of lie is also frequently told by students. For instance, a girl who is caught cheating on a test might choose not to reveal the incident to her family. This girl may remain silent because she isn't able to cope with her parents' anger. When we don't want to face the consequences, telling lies is a convenient way to avoid encountering difficulties. In contrast, We sometimes tell white lies in order not to wound other people's pride or ego. If one of our good friends gets an awful new haircut, we are likely to lie to that person by saying, I like your new haircut. It looks good on you, to spare his or her feelings. This type of lie is generally not considered bad or wrong. Many people tell white lies instead of the truth to prevent negative reactions. Therefore, white lies can sometimes be useful for maintaining good relationships. Similarly, we tell protective lies so as to keep ourselves out of dangerous situations. Parents may teach their children to use this type of lie in certain circumstances. Some parents, for example, Have their children say that mom and dad are too busy to come to the phone if a stranger calls while they are out. In this situation, protective lies may keep people safe from harm. It is clear that we lie for many reasons, both good and bad. However, it is not always easy to determine why we need to lie in a particular situation. Before we lie, Perhaps we should rethink our motives. We never know when our lies might be exposed and cause us embarrassment or the loss of other people's trust.